Hi. <laughs> okay, I'm um, doing like a mini tutorial for the MPC-1000, how to uh, chain sequences together uh, or to produce different fills um, rather than uh, in the forums it was you know brought up that you could possibly mute um, an entire you know series of, of notes so that when different ones played and this for me I've just found has been easier so um, basically have on my screen here uh, I've got sequence I'm gonna rename my sequence to uh, main phrase and just to do that you hit uh, window when you're in the sequence highlighted and then use the pads you know um, to uh, <clears throat> to change the change the names using using the pads to do that so I've got sequence one is main and uh, set the tempo at like 90 and you can use the uh, tap tempo to do that or whatever um, time signature 44 two bars loop on mute off MIDI off type drum program one I, I don't really rename the program for this but usually I would rename it um, I have you know different programs loaded up so I've loaded up a couple of drum sounds and that's for the purpose of this tutorial this is all I'm gonna need uh, you'll look here on the track uh, if you look on the track uh, section I have I've named these two track one is bass track two is snare and then I'm gonna name track three hi-hat in order to do that I'm, I'm see I'm on the track sequence um, I'm on the track I'm gonna push um, window and then I'm gonna turn my data wheel it goes into this little screen and now I can use the pads to rename this one uh, hi-hat so I'm gonna do that uh, and that's so that's taken care of so uh, again, really simple. I'm not going to go into. So I'm on track one, which is the bass or kick. Um, I could have really, I could have named it kick. It doesn't really matter if you're going to add bass. So so I have the timing correction at one sixteenth, just in case you were wondering. So I've got that recorded. simple bass pattern. I'm going to go to the next track, track two, record the snare. Go to the next track and record the hat. So that's, you know, like a really simple um, bass pattern. I might actually even, you know, I would do all this obviously later um, in the song, but, you know, freshen up the hi-hat a little bit, um, pan it to the left, whatever. Anyway, so <clears throat> now that I've gotten that taken care of, I'm going to go to my sequence. I'm going to hit Window, and I'm going to click Copy, which is F5. Uh, by the way, I'm using OS 2.01, not JJ. I haven't uh, gotten that far yet. Anyway, just in case, uh, I'm going to go do it, and it's going to... Oops, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to copy it to sequence 2. Okay, so now you see I have sequence 1 as main, and now we have main 2. I'm going to go to the snare, because I'm going to change the snare. I'm going to record over it, so we have like a little bit different fill. And then I'm going to do the same for the bass. I'm actually going to overdub on this one. I mean, that's pretty over the top. That's pretty over the top, um, obviously. So, I, you know, <laughs> that's like kind of the shotgun bass and snare, but just to accentuate the point. So we have the main phrase. And we have 
the fill phrase. And now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit mode, I'm going to hit pad, mode pad 16, which is the song mode. It's going to take me to this screen. I'm going to add main sequence and sequence 2. So this is our song that we've created. So, what you're going to do, so we've got that as our sequence, you're going to go convert, and you're going to have, so from, from song 1 to song 1 into sequence 3. Okay. It says track status referred to first sequence. That means that, well, well, since it doesn't really matter actually because we have both of the track, all the tracks are equal. So I'm going to click do it. So now I have a song which is four bars, which is the combination of sequence one and sequence two. Two plus two is four bars, <laughs> and uh, everything is the same. I can actually go into step edit, and I can actually edit, you know, each individual hit I can you know take out some hits um, by track I can delete some some of that you know shotgun bass and snare thing we had uh, by step editing and there now you have uh, a song you know quote so now we have you know a song um, that and not only that, we have still have our same main phrases. You can switch it up whichever way you want. Um, you can, you know, remake a different song. You can add different fills, things like that. And it's much, much easier to do. So that is kind of the idea. I hope that helps.